Hello. In this video, I want to show how to use Response Manager to initiate an automated change of policy to Cisco ICE. And this is feature is possible as of version 7.3 in Stealthwatch. Prior to this version, you'll be able to actually initiate a change of access or change of uh, policy from Stealthwatch to ICE through a, a host or a host report. So if you're prior to version 7.3, when you click on a host, you can actually view something called the host report. Under the section called host summary, you can actually look at the ANC policy and it will show you the current state of a host. In this case, the policy applied to this host is quarantine and you can click edit and change that uh, policy to whatever policies you have configured on the I side. In this video, now we're going to show how to use the response manager, which you can reach it from configure response management in order to configure a policy that will actually automatically change the access of a specific uh, endpoint depending on the policy created. In the response manager, to be able to create an automated action, first an action has to be created and then there should be a rule that triggers on a specific conditions in order to trigger that action. So in previous videos, we have shown what is the response manager and what are the possible policies and actions. In this video, we're going to go directly into creating a nice change policy action. So we click actions. Uh, we have an existing rule called quarantine hosts using ICE. We can create a new one, uh, ICE ANC policy, and can specify investigate host using ICE. So this is will put the host in an investigate policy status. Uh, we have uh, already quarantine one, and then you can choose the ICE cluster. In this case, I have only one ICE cluster, and we can specify the policy. Uh, I have two policies configured in ICE. These are pulled automatically, depending on what is configured on ICE side. And that is the investigate. You can specify if you wanna apply this for the source host or the target host, depending on the policy. So in this case, we're gonna specify the source host and click save. Uh, to look at the quarantine policy, um, same logic, it's called quarantine, host and ice, ice policy, quarantine, that's, that's exactly what we have in, in that policy. And you can specify the so source target. So we can create also a rule. These rules depend on uh, when, the, when this action will be triggered. So we have the action when we have the rules. And can create add new rule and specify, in this case, either a host alarm or a host group relationship alarm, depending on when you want to trigger this policy. In, in this case, I'm trying to look at host specific alarms. We're going to say uh, initiate investigation for host uh, for using us. And then we're going to specify when we want to trigger this policy. Uh, I'm going to specify this policy is going to trigger if the host group is source host group belongs to we're going to specify, let's say, anybody on the side. And we're going to add an addition button. If there is an event, which is alarm type, you can specify which alarm type. Uh, let's see, we're going to specify if it's custom relation, uh, reputation list, which means this is a custom security event that is uh, used when um, somebody is actually uh, connecting to a an IP or a destination that's specified in a custom reputation list. And then for these rules, we're going to say the action associated is investigate the host. So now uh, this policy will actually trigger when there is a custom reputation list hit by anybody from inside. Um, and then the policy will be applied is investigate. I'm going to click save. I'm going to show also another policy that I previously created, which is quarantine host triggering a custom security event. So we can click edit. And then this is the policy name. It triggers when there is a type custom reputation list, peer-to-peer -to, -peer to internet, and possible remote access breach. Since I already created another policy for custom reputation list, I'm going to only make this policy trigger on peer-to-peer -to, -peer to internet or possible remote access breach. And then the action is the other action that we have in, uh, in our action list, quarantine host using ICE. And then I'm going to click save. So typically now we have two automated actions, rules that triggers, uh, also the two rules that triggers on these actions. 
You can actually specify multiple actions, but this specifically because we're looking at one type of action on specific conditions. So we have the first policy uh, where if we see a quarantine host uh, when it triggers a custom security event, and also we, uh, we have initiate investigation for the host and also it's active. So both of these are active now as listed um, uh, in this uh, set of rules. So now after creating the policies in order to check what are the different automated responses triggered by the response manager to ICE, you can actually go under monitor ICNC assignment. We'll wait a bit in order to see the different actually uh, rules trigger uh, some of the different actions. So what, while this is uh, actually being triggered in the background, now we can see multiple actions has triggered using the response manager. You can see different host uh, under the ICE cluster has been automatically assigned by the response manager at specific time frames, different, uh, actually different ANC policies. Some of them have hit the investigate policy and others have hit the quarantine. And also you can at any point in time under this section, click retrieve this will show the latest policy status why this is uh, very useful in case you have uh, your eyes actually integrated with multiple solutions uh, my, it might be that another solution has changed the current status of this endpoint uh, from being now uh, an investigator or something else you can click retrieve to retrieve the latest status from ice itself also at any point in time you can click actions and change uh, the, the status for one row or multiple rows uh, depends on uh, whatever you want to do uh, and uh, take an example I'm gonna try to change this host to from investigate to quarantine uh, this will actually also change the status of that host and you can see a new entry has has shown up you can see that um, it's a manual change versus the other one which are automatic so you can also differentiate if a user have actually changed that uh, host uh, policy not uh, only a response manager so uh, in this case I'm, I'm logged in as admin so it shows that this is the admin user who have changed this uh, policy uh, at 12 37 p.m uh, which is different than the other uh, timings for the other rules so this is how also to monitor not only the automated response uh, management actions to ice but also the change from uh, manually from users and also to retrieve the latest uh, status um, so in this video, we have seen how to actually create an action that's associated to a nice policy, how to trigger this action by creating a set of rules uh, that this rule will actually trigger on specific conditions. And then you can also have, we have seen how to see these different responses in the uh, ICNC policy assignment monitoring section under the monitor. So hope this video has been informative for you guys uh, and you have enjoyed it.